welcome now Emma Fields, who is replacing uh, Rachel uh, Nunes uh, on the IROC uh, introductory radiation oncology curriculum for an update and results from nationwide implementation. Thank you. Um, and my disclosure is that I am on Twitter, but I'm trying to figure out Twitter, so I obviously didn't know Roxy was at its own account. I've got a hashtag there. Um, but most of y'all know um, the transition from being um, an intern in medicine or even a fourth year medical student into a radiation oncology residency program. No matter how many away rotations you do, in home rotations, um, that transition is very challenging. There's so much to learn. Um, you get very proficient at placing central lines, reading EKGs, but you forget everything about um, how to care for your patient in the radiation oncology clinic. So our whole idea was to make a standardized curriculum that could be used by anybody around the country to help orient our residents and make that transition into our clinics um, much smoother. So we started this in 2017. Um, there were just four of us doing this um, at Chicago, Miami, um, the MGH or Harvard programs, and VCU. Um, with 15 residents and we saw a market improvement from um, pre-curriculum to post-curriculum with their comfort level um, at doing the things that we expect um, all of our residents to do and honestly every single year we forget that our PGY resident, two residents come in knowing nothing and there's this huge um, gap between the two and the threes. Um, so we saw before the curriculum you know, that they didn't understand the role of the radiation oncologist, how to prepare for a CT simulation, um, how to evaluate a plan. I mean, we're still trying to teach all the other residents this, so they really have no idea um, and how to handle emergencies, which is something we want them to do pretty quickly because we put them on the call schedule come September. Um, so after our initial pilot seeing the success, we were able to um, expand the program and we ran the program at 40 institutions in 2018, so last summer, um, 39 US and one Canadian. Um, we really pushed on the PGY2 residents, so we had almost 100% response rates. Um, and most incoming residents went from feeling not at all or only slightly prepared for their residency um, into quite or extremely prepared. Um, and just a little bit more into the nitty gritty of that. Um, so pre-survey, 33% um, felt not at all or slightly um, that they understood the role of a radiation oncologist. And then afterwards, only six were slightly um, or not at all. And that went up to 41% um, quite um, or extremely. And you'll see a trend here. How prepared are you to attend a simulation? So things that we want them to do right off the bat. Um, and that really changed markedly from pre to post. And I'll show you how we did that. Um, the simulation was um, especially successful. Uh, and then this is just a general how useful was each individual session. And I'll kind of tell you about each of those sessions. Um, but on a scale of one to five, um, almost all of them were ranked in the, in the four range. Um, we also asked the program directors because we made um, the program directors or a designated coordinator, point person, sometimes it was a chief resident, we made them be the point person for the curriculum um, to distribute the materials to, to sort of be in charge, their site director per se. Um, we had it about 80%, we didn't push them that hard. Um, <laughs> And um, they felt like the curriculum covered the key concepts that they would want. They felt like it compared favorably with what they were currently doing and maybe even enhanced their current orientation. Um, it was hands-on, engaging, clear and comprehensive, so easy to deliver. Um, and 100% said they would be willing to do it again. So I hope that's true, because um, we're gearing up for another season. Um, so what does this entail? Many of you participated, and thank you, I hope you do again. Um, but for those of you who didn't, this is nine hours of your orientation time. Um, about 50% are lecture-based. The lectures are prepared, they come with teaching guides, um, and they really go um, through basically the high points that you want your incoming residents to know. So no radiation biology. Um, the high points <laughs> <laughs> 
stuff. So you've got introduction, which is um, very similar to what Ashlyn showed you as that clinic flow. Um, CT simulation, I've got some great pictures of our orientation last year featuring Dr. Padilla um, and their drinking oral contrast and fun things. Um, contouring, treatment planning, um, all very hands-on. Um, and these were delivered by either our dosimetrists or uh, medical physicists. Um, a little bit on QA, just to introduce the concept of the physicist, what they're doing after hours, having some faces to names, um, and then patient setup verification and emergencies. Um, so again, this is the intro, this goes through the workflow in your clinic, um, and the nice thing is they, they are very generic, so no matter what your particular CT sim looks like, what your particular dosimetry um, platform is, um, you can you can personalize these uh, again lecture two it's a very short um, PowerPoint and then it's a much longer hands-on component that is case-based um, so you're given a case and then ideally the residents either find or actually try out the immobilization and um, the different custom items that you particularly use at your site for these patients um, again, this was them cheers to the oral contrast. Um, but it's neat because then when they go to the consult and they're asking their patient to drink a bottle of this stuff, they can actually say, you know, it's not that bad, you know, it tastes kind of like strawberry yogurt or whatever flavor you have. Um, this is Dr. Padilla teaching them about the um, TMOs, and then I have one of our PGY2 residents laying on the breastboard. Um, he was starting on the breast rotation, so he got to, you know, tell his prone breast ladies, you know, what their experience was going to be like. Um, and it was invaluable. Um, so then the contouring, this is really the basics, so just going through GTV, CTV, PTV. Um, there's some basic terms on there. There's some um, resources for the residents, contouring atlases, um, some of the, you know, guidelines that we have that they can use. Um, um, plan evaluation, um, Raphael already alluded to this, um, but there's just some simple things for them to go through looking at um, what's important in your plan evaluation, something's wrong with this, okay, sure, there's a beam going through the spinal cord. You know, it may not be initially obvious, but it's just something for them to start looking at. Um, and then they can go back and sit with the dosimetrist and actually look what they're doing, but with a little background understanding so it's not quite so passive. Um, this is just one of the slides from our QA talk. This is only about a 30-minute session. Um, and then we just encourage the residents to go and say hello to a medical physicist and maybe like watch them do QA. Um, this is a video. Um, this is one thing that's going to be upgraded um, for this upcoming season. Um, just the sound quality was not um, that great. Um, but I've got all new equipment. So um, coming soon. Um, and then emergencies. This was given by our chief residents, and this was really um, well received. It was nice. They could kind of give the incoming residents, you know, the lowdowns on who actually calls you, you know, where these patients are in the hospital, all the, you know, little um, details that maybe some of the attendings don't even know. And it gives them that connection right off the bat. We also got some Twitter um, hits um, last summer, which was exciting, but it was before it was on Twitter, so I was less excited about it. <laughs> but I'm really excited this year. Um, so it was used um, at um, Cincinnati, and MD Anderson, and Arrow gave us um, some shout outs, which was cool. Um, so just to show our growth, this was um, 2017 when we had four programs. These were our initial um, sites. Um, this was 2018. Um, so far we have nine new programs on for um, 2019, but we would love to have more. Um, the way that this works are the materials are distributed through Dropbox. Um, you don't have to do anything with the surveys. We directly survey your residents. Um, we only have to bother the point person um, if your residents aren't responding to us. <laughs> Um, so here is my contact information, and I'm happy to take questions if there's a minute. Yeah.